Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Amanda N and today is sort of a part two to last week's video. Not really. It's not necessary that you watch that one first, but both of these are going to involve Satan and demonic things and TikTok and conspiracies. So last week we talked about stars selling their souls for fame, but today's topic is far more serious and that's the conspiracy that Satan and not Travis Scott is to blame for the Astroworld controversy. So for those of you that don't know what that is, even though I'm sure everyone watching this video does to some extent, let me just give you a very brief recap. So Astroworld put on a show a few months ago with despicably poor security, and Travis Scott, who has a history of using language that incites violence at his concert, did a similar thing here. Many have argued that from the stage, he absolutely would have seen what was going on to at least some extent to see the crowding from the front. Whether or not he saw and understood it, only Travis Scott knows for sure, but eight people died needlessly because of the recklessness. Allegedly. Just gonna insert that. Allegedly. Don't sue me here. This is still going through court, I'm sure. But anyway. As tragic and awful as all of this was, as if to make the situation worse, supposed TikTok geniuses, as a Rolling Stone article has sarcastically dubbed them, they claim the situation was caused by Satan. And no, I don't mean in the way that some religious people believe Satan is the root of all evil and compels people to do horrible things or any of that. I mean that they have argued, literally, that the stage was an inverted cross leading to a portal to hell, and that the people that died were killed intentionally and sacrificed. Yeah, I, my breath is kind of taken away by that. If you don't believe that there was nothing demonic about that whole concert, you are spiritually blind and I pray that God opens your eyes, said a man in a post on TikTok that drew more than a million views in a day. Other signs people have pointed to online include eight pyrotechnic flames along the front of the stage, representing the eight initial victims of that night, and a stage backdrop that read, See you on the other side. I'm a big fan of Travis Scott, but this is some demonic ass shit. One person tweeted with a video of a fiery winged creature above Scott's stage. It's making me rethink some of the things, like, is this what hell looks like? The thing is, some situations, such as Live Nation's Astroworld tragedy and COVID and other recent events, may feel so horrible that, to some extent, we might all feel like we live in a hell on earth. But to take it literally? The reason why this isn't right is because it takes the blame off of those who are genuinely responsible. Allegedly, Travis Scott and Live Nation. Again, don't sue me. <laughs> Some conspiracy theories I think are a bit stupid or silly, sure, but this one is especially vile and it really doesn't consider the family's feelings into this matter at all. Though last week I talked a little bit about celebrity style conspiracy theories, let's talk about why they aren't shut down. Because this one clearly should have been shut down a lot faster. Why wasn't it? Well, money. Anti-vaccine conspiracies technically don't violate TikTok guidelines, so they're not taken down either. Misinformation can bend the rules quite a bit, and unfortunately, misinformation is popular. Once you view it, you'll get it recommended again and again and again. Similar content can become a negative feedback loop, arguably making it harder to find the truth unless you actively seek out an opinion that's going to contradict one you've just been told, or one that you might hold. That's how many conspiracy groups get a hold of people in the first place. People don't instantaneously believe large, ridiculous lies without proof. It becomes a gradual, slippery slope until, before you know it, they're spreading the idea that young teenagers were killed to be sacrificed to Satan. I think the Astroworld conspiracy is particularly interesting in this aspect because it's so obvious what the truth is. There was crushing, a lack of security, and a lack of accountability, yet because people were making these TikToks and getting people to stay on the platform and earn TikTok money, well, why remove them? It took TikTok some time to actually do anything about these videos, just kind of caving into social pressure, although they still spread pretty wildly on Twitter. It's hard to know what to do here, what's a crazy theory and what's a harmful conspiracy. Chatting about your thoughts should always be allowed, that's 
freedom of speech. That's, of course, understandable why people want to protect that. But harmful conspiracies? Well, those can be hard to identify until it's already too late. If you're saying something that slanders someone, or that's so harmful to these families, absolutely it should be taken down. Immediately. But, again, it can go bit by bit. And saying, oh wow, that's crazy how there were eight pyrotechnic flames and eight victims, what a coincidence, is one thing, versus this is proof that they were sacrificed. So, anyway, I just wanted to give my thoughts on the matter. Honestly, it made me really mad when I heard about it, and I've been wanting to make a video about it for a while, but I didn't really know what I wanted to add to the conversation other than to just say, it pisses me off. This was really ridiculous. This conspiracy is one that I hope to never see again, even though I'm sure I will in some other form. Um, also, just a friendly reminder that Live Nation, who ran Astroworld, is now doing the whole When We Were Young concert, which I guess is supposed to feature, you know, just a bunch of nostalgia artists from the 90s, like Paramore, Avril Lavigne, and Jimmy Eat World, and AFI, all those kind of people that were really popular growing up. If you're, you know, late 20s, around my age, they were really popular when I was growing up. Uh, yeah, don't go see that concert, because Live Nation is putting it on, and pretty sure we have enough reason to not trust Live Nation right now. Allegedly. <laughs> anyway, that's where I'm gonna end today's show. Let me know if you liked it, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!